Hi. Welcome to Inference. In this video, I will be talking about the future. Some people may want the future to be a utopia where there is no poverty or crime, while others may simply want a future where they can be happy and healthy. Some things that many people may want the future to include are a world where everyone has equal opportunities, a world where there is no poverty or hunger, a world where there is no war or violence, a world where everyone is treated fairly and with respect. A world where the environment is healthy and sustainable. A world where people can pursue their dreams and goals. Ultimately, the future should be a place where everyone can be happy and safe. There are many changes that people would like to see in the world, but some of the most common ones include the following. An end to poverty and hunger. An end to war and violence. Equal opportunities for everyone. A healthy and sustainable environment. Respect for all people. The ability to pursue one's dreams and goals. The world is facing many challenges, some of the most significant being climate change, poverty and inequality, and the spread of diseases. To deal with these challenges, we need to take action on a global scale to find solutions that work for everyone. We also need to continue to educate ourselves and others about the issues we face, so that we can all make informed decisions about how to best address them. There are many things we can do to make the world a better place. We can start by being more environmentally responsible and working to reduce our impact on the planet. We can also work to improve education and healthcare around the world so that everyone has the opportunity to reach their full potential. potential. We can also stand up against discrimination and violence, and work to promote peace and understanding. By working together, we can make the world a better place for everyone. In the future, we will see more personalized and targeted medicine, as well as more use of technology in both diagnosis and treatment. We will see a move away from the one-size-fits-all approach to medicine, and towards a more personalized approach. This means that treatments will be tailored to the individual, rather than the general population. This will be made possible by a better understanding of the human genome, and the development of new technologies such as nanotechnology. We will also see an increase in the use of technology in both diagnosis and treatment. For example, we will see more use of virtual reality in rehabilitation, and more use of robots in surgery. There will also be a greater focus on preventative medicine, as we become better at predicting which diseases a person is likely to develop. This will allow us to take steps to prevent them, them from developing in the first place. In the future, we will see medicine become more personalized, targeted, and technologically advanced. This will allow us to better treat diseases, and prevent them from occurring in the first place. In the future, infrastructure will be more important than ever. It will be the backbone of our economy and our way of life. We will need to invest in it now to ensure that it can meet the demands of the future. Several factors will impact the future of infrastructure. The first is population growth. The world's population is projected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050, and this will put a strain on our existing infrastructure. We will need to build new roads, bridges, and railways to accommodate the increased demand. The second factor is climate change. Infrastructure is vulnerable to the effects of climate change, and we are already seeing the impact of extreme weather events on our roads, bridges, and railways. Climate change will also impact the way we use infrastructure, as we will need to adapt to rising sea levels and changes in precipitation. The third factor is technological change. We are seeing a rapid increase in the use of technology, and this is impacting the way we use infrastructure. For example, the rise of electric vehicles is changing the way we think about roads and highways. We will need to invest in new technologies to ensure that our infrastructure can keep up with the demands of the future. Investing in infrastructure now will pay off in the future. It will make our economy more productive, and it will make our lives easier. We need to start planning for the future now so that we can build the infrastructure we need to meet the challenges of the future. In the future, education will be more personalized, more engaging, and more adaptive. Technology will play a big role in making this happen. One way that education will be more personalized is through the use of learning analytics. This is the process of collecting data about students' learning experiences and using it to improve their learning. 
learning analytics will allow educators to see which students are struggling with certain concepts and then provide them with targeted interventions. Another way that education will be more personalized is through the use of virtual reality. Virtual reality can be used to create immersive learning experiences. For example, students could use virtual reality to visit historical sites or to experience what it would be like to work in a certain profession. Engagement will also be a big focus in the future of education. One way that educators will increase engagement is by using game-based learning. In game-based learning, students learn by playing games. This type of learning is effective because it is enjoyable and it allows students to learn at their own pace. Finally, education education will be more adaptive in the future. This means that it will be able to adjust to the needs of each student. For example, if a student is struggling with a certain concept, the educational material will be able to adapt to their needs and provide them with extra help. The future of agriculture is a topic of much debate. Some believe that the industry will continue to grow and become more efficient, while others believe that it will become increasingly difficult to produce food as the world's population continues to grow. Several factors will impact the future of agriculture, including climate change, advances in technology, and the availability of land and water. Climate change is likely to have a significant impact on agriculture. As the world gets warmer, there will be more extreme weather events, such as droughts and floods. This will make it difficult to grow crops, and will also lead to a decline in the quality of the food that is produced. In addition, pests and diseases will become more prevalent and will have a greater impact on crops. Advances in technology will also impact the future of agriculture. Farmers are already using technology to increase efficiency and productivity. For example, they are using GPS to map their fields, and drones to spray crops. In the future, technology is likely to play an even greater role in agriculture, with farmers using robots to carry out tasks such as planting and harvesting. This will help to reduce costs and increase yields. The availability of land and water is also likely to impact the future of agriculture. As the world's population continues to grow, there will be more pressure on the land that is available for farming. This will lead to a decline in the amount of land that is available for agriculture and will also increase the cost of land. In addition, the availability of water is likely to decline, as a result of climate change and the increased demand from other industries, such as energy and manufacturing. This will make it more difficult and expensive to irrigate crops. The future of agriculture is uncertain. However, the industry will face several challenges, including climate change, advances in technology and the availability of land and water. Farmers will need to adapt to these changes to ensure that they can continue to produce food for the world's growing population. I believe that the future can be a bright one if we work together to address the challenges we face. I hope that we can find solutions to climate change, poverty and inequality, and the spread of diseases. I also hope that we can continue to educate ourselves and others about the issues we face, so that we can all make informed decisions about how to best address them. By working together, I believe we can make the world a better place for everyone. There are many things I love about the world. I love the diversity of cultures and the beauty of nature. I also love the fact that there are so many different people with different perspectives and ideas. I believe that this diversity is what makes the world such a special place. All right, folks, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about what might be in store for us in the future. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.